Hi everyone, we're looking at number 11 on page 307. The question says, a cube is constructed from three vectors, A, B, C, as shown below. In part A, express each of the diagonals, vectors A, G, B, H, C, E, and D, F in terms of vectors A, B, and C. Now before we start, I want to be in agreement with you. So I'm going to draw this square and write down the front, just so that you and I are looking at this from the same perspective. Depending on the student, some will see the front as the back, or vice versa, or for others, you see this as a continuous, uh, in continuous motion, right, which should not be the case. It's just a cube, and the front is given by the uh, square A, B, F, E. So, in part A, if you want to express A, G in terms of A, B, and C, Here's what you can do. One possible answer is go from AB to BC to CG. And again, AG really is the front bottom left corner pointing to the back top right corner. And that's not the only answer, right? So even though I am gonna write down AB plus BC plus CG, I would like you to see that if you took a different pathway, let's say AE plus EH, plus HG, that will also give you AG. Or maybe a third person would say AD, plus DC, plus CG. What I don't want you to think about is, for example, AB to BF, to FE, to EH, to HD, to DC, and so on, uh, all the way to um, CG. Even though mathematically that is right, but that is suboptimal. So, once you have that, you can express this in terms of A, B, and C. A, G equals to, so again, A, B is given by the vector A. B, C is given by the vector B. And C, G is given by the vector C, just like that. So, likewise, if you look at uh, B, H, this equals to, and again, let me just erase this. We'll start one more time. You understand that? That is the front. So BH starts from the front bottom right corner, pointing to the back top left corner. And again, one pathway could be BA plus AD plus DH. So BH equals to BA plus AD, plus DH. And again, this makes sense algebraically. If you look at the inner letters, these are the same. Again, these are the same. And if you look at the first and the last, this will correspond to the left-hand side. So that's how you know you're doing it right algebraically. Now think about opposite vectors that we talked about from 6.1. So BA is the same as negative AB but AB is given as A, so this is negative A. Now, likewise, if you look at AD, that's going to be B. If you look at DH, that's the same as AE or C. Let's keep going. If you look at vectors CE, this equals to, again, let's try this without drawing the diagram this time. CE means you're starting from the back right bottom corner to the front top left corner. So one pathway could be CD plus DA plus AE. This equals to, again, CD is negative A. DA is going to be negative B. And AE is positive C. So when you're ready, you can try DF. You can press pause, and when you're done, press play, and I'll be here. OK, so if you think about DF, again, graphically, what this means is you're starting from the back top right corner, sorry, D, that's, sorry, that's my mistake, from the back bottom left corner 
pointing to the front top right corner, so right here. So again, one possible pathway is to go from DC plus CB plus BF. So algebraically, this means DF equals to DC plus CB plus BF. And again, this equals to A. CB is the same as negative B. And BF is the same as positive C, just like that. So I hope you did it right as well. Part B. Is the magnitude of AG the same as the magnitude of BH explained? So the best way to do this is to show that each side will give you the same outcome. Now again, uh, there's a shortcut which I want to introduce uh, at this point. Uh, to find the magnitude of a vector in three-dimensional space, there's a formula. So in general, if you think about part B, which we do here, but in general, if you have, let's say, a vector in the space uh, ABC, or if U equals to ABC, the magnitude of U equals to the square root of A square plus B square plus C square. So what that means is you want to show that the magnitude of AG equals to the magnitude of BH. And to do this, we start with the left-hand side. So the left-hand side is going to be the magnitude of AG. And again, if you think about this, using the formula, this is the square root of, again, let's go back to the beginning. We did AG. So AG is given by A plus B plus C, which means the magnitude is the sum of the squares, uh, square root. So it's going to be A square plus B square plus C square. But again, it's not just A square, right? It's the magnitude of A square, the magnitude of B square, the magnitude of C square, square root. Now, if you compare that to the right-hand side, again, that's the magnitude of BH. And if you go back, we did this. So we know that the magnitude of BH is given by negative A plus B plus C, which means this equals to the square root of the magnitude of negative A square plus the magnitude of B square plus the magnitude of C square. Now again, we did this from 6.2, 6.3. When you're looking at the magnitude of a vector, it's always positive. So even though you're looking at the magnitude of negative A, that is the same as the magnitude of A square. The other two terms you can copy. And now the left hand side and the right hand side are the same. Therefore, the magnitude of AG equals to the magnitude of BH. I hope this makes sense.